Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus Channel. The Sikorsky CH-53K King Stallion is a heavy lifting cargo helicopter, first introduced in April of 2022. This came a full seven years after the aircraft's first flight, which made it one of the largest and most expensive military helicopters of all time. Indeed, each of the 18 helicopters ordered by the U.S. military will cost around $138 million. Owing to the aircraft's incredible size and capabilities, as well as the ballooning costs during development. Indeed, the CH 53K cost more than three times as much as its predecessor, the CH 53E. However, it is also infinitely more advanced and far better suited to the ever-changing modern battlefield. The addition of these new features makes the King Stallion a bit more maintenance intensive than previous models. It's also important that both flight and maintenance crews spend as much time with the new aircraft as possible in order to familiarize themselves with the new systems. The primary upgrades include a new cabin layout and new engines. The K model also features a new composite rotor blade system and digital combat displays, ensuring pilots are prepared for any eventuality. In total, the U.S. Marines hope to receive around 200 of these high-powered helicopters, many of which will likely end up deployed on amphibious assault ships and other multi-role combat vessels. This is where many of the older CH-53s are currently serving, as they are indispensable when it comes to moving troops and equipment from sea to land and back again. Where the King Stallion really stands out is in its heavy lifting performance. The three new General Electric GE 38IB engines put out 7,500 horsepower each. Allowing the CH-53K to carry heavier loads and fly at higher speeds. The King Stallion can carry 30 passengers or troops, or up to 35,000 pounds inside its cargo bay. Meanwhile, its external capabilities include two hooks rated at 25,000 pounds each. Its max takeoff weight with an external load is 88,000 pounds, which provides commanders with a nice selection of options for moving personnel, weapons, and vehicles around the battlefield. Even heavily armored vehicles can be moved with minimal effort, thanks to the King Stallion's 36,000 pounds of external payload capacity. In all, the CH-53K's fuselage is 73 feet long, while the width is around 17 feet.
The spacious cabin allows the helicopter to carry multiple vehicle types inside, deploying them via the rear cargo ramp upon landing. Though it's far from the first heavy-duty helicopter to achieve such a feat, it was crucial to the U.S. military that the CH-53K be able to refuel in mid-air successfully. The aircraft has a long extendable probe that it uses to interface with tanker planes. But it's important to note that this process is very delicate given the proximity of the rotor blades to the drogue system behind the tanker. Trials were done over Chesapeake Bay in Maryland using a KC-130J fuel tanker. Fortunately, both aircraft performed admirably during the test, which helped pave the way for the King Stallion's official introduction in mid-2022. So far, less than 20 have been constructed, but Sikorsky Aircraft and its parent company Lockheed Martin have received a lot of interest from various branches of the military and several U.S. allies. Before Sikorsky introduced the CH-53s, no heavy lifting transport helicopter in the U.S. fleet could compete with the Boeing CH-47 Chinook. In fact, the Chinook has been in service with the military since 1962, with more than 1,200 being built as of 2012. This, combined with its incredible service record in multiple theaters, makes it one of the most successful aircraft ever developed. Of course, those Chinooks manufactured in the past few decades have undergone a completely different assembly experience from those made in the 60s, 70s, and 80s. Indeed, Boeing recently delivered the 12 final CH-47F model Chinooks to the Air Force of the Netherlands. All of these helicopters started out as prefabricated airframe pieces, which were assembled using both robots and trained personnel at Boeing's Philadelphia, Pennsylvania factory. After the engines are installed, the aircraft is flight tested and once approved, shipped off to the customer. Technology is not only useful in the assembly of these modern Chinooks, but in training a new generation of pilots to man these 50-foot-long, 25,000-pound behemoths. Indeed, high-tech simulators like this one here at Camp Humphreys are essential to the modern-day training process. In the past, simulators have more or less played like expensive video games. These newer versions are far more accurate when recreating the authentic look and feel of the helicopter. With it, new personnel can familiarize themselves with how the aircraft behaves in a safe, controlled environment. Many of the older model Chinooks have long since been retired in favor of the updated models. However, the CH-47 is still required to have regular maintenance performed after a certain number of flight hours. The best way to test the helicopter's capabilities both before and after a maintenance period is to take the aircraft on a test flight, like the one seen here. Such test flights typically employ maintenance pilots who specialize in putting the aircraft through the ringer with advanced maneuvers that push the limits of the engine and fuselage. 
This is even more important considering the strenuous missions the average CH-47 is often assigned to complete. Perhaps the best example of such a mission is what's known as helo casting. Helo casting is a highly specialized technique, generally used by small unit special forces looking to infiltrate an area behind enemy lines. There are several ways to perform the maneuver depending on the size of the force and the particular situation at hand. In most cases, a Chinook will descend until it's just above water level. The pilot will then deploy the aircraft's rear cargo door and slow the helicopter's airspeed down as much as possible. This will allow the team to jump out the back into the water. As radar will still show the aircraft in motion, enemies monitoring the situation will have no idea if and where the team was deployed. Another maneuver that helped make the Chinook famous among allies and infamous among enemies is called the pinnacle landing. This is when a pilot places the rear section of the helicopter onto a mountaintop or other raised area while keeping the engines running at full blast. As with helo casting, this allows for the rapid deployment of troops into areas that may be difficult to reach otherwise. With the Chinook's ability to carry up to 55 troops at once, this maneuver can make a huge difference in a battlefield scenario in just a short amount of time. More importantly, the pilot and other crew members can deploy the troops and escape the area in very little time, drastically decreasing their chances of engagement. This ability to partially land in almost any area also makes the Chinook a vital component to many rescue operations. Indeed, the U.S. Army National Guard and the Army Reserve have access to these aircraft and use them for operations at home and abroad. In July of 2021, a CH-47F Chinook from California's National Guard performed a high-altitude pinnacle landing atop Mount Whitney. There, they rescued three hikers who were stranded overnight. So even though it's been in operation for more than six decades, the CH-47 remains one of the most versatile aircraft in existence. Though the Sikorsky CH-53K may soon become the preferred model of many militaries worldwide, there's no erasing the Chinook's history as the premier heavy lifting and transport helicopter. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.